great season. Um, Coach, can you just please state your name and the players alongside you? Yep. Uh, I'm Coach Chris Leong of the Coral Reef Barracudas. To my right, I got my se senior. Mm. Sad to say, his last game was today, Brent Coscuela, second baseman. To his right is uh, my shortstop, Michael Ogden, number six. To my left is Sean Perez, my DH, one of my boys, number nine. And the starting pitcher of today's game, junior Samuel Chang, number 16. Can just comment about the game? Hey, the game is the game, you know? It's, uh, you, got, you gotta love it, you know? It's a, it's a sport that it is what it is. In any one game, you know, anything could happen. Uh, they hit a bomb, they won the game. Ultimately, the game of inches, too, uh, Chris. And just You get a home run, hits off the top of the fence. The last play barely catches the ball. So it's just you know, got to be tough knowing that close. Yeah. Hey, you know, they, made, they made all their plays. They made all their plays. You know, and, and some, some balls went their way. Uh, and and the, the, kid, the kids uh, lived up to that moment, and they squeezed it. And at the dish, you know, we had some opportunities, and, you know, we, had some, we made some mistakes here or there. And, uh, you know, it comes down to execution. And uh, they executed on defense. They got that bomb. And I, I believe that my boys, uh, you know, they fought the whole way through. And, you know, they deserve the win as well. But at the end of the day, there's only one winner. And, and we, we didn't win. Sammy, can you talk about, you know, obviously you pitched so well out there, so effective, and then just like one pitch. Uh, he gets a hold of it. What, do, you remember, do you remember the pitch? What happened on the pitch? You left it out over the plate? Or? Fastball. What's that? Pretty sure it was a fastball. Out over the plate. It was just heartbreaking. If I had known he was going to hit it over, I would have given him just a walk or yeah. just the base. He and said you had thrown him a couple of change. I asked him. He thought you had thrown him a couple of change ups, and yeah. you know, so you were just you were trying to mix it up. And yeah. did you think that it was going to make it out when it left the bat, or you were just sort of hoping it? I, I mean, uh, I mean. All day they've been hitting high fly balls, and I trusted my outfielders to just catch the ball and make the plays. And when I saw it went over, it just just really hit me. And, yeah. Sean, talk, talk to me about um, the McDan kid, their kid, because obviously he was pretty effective. I think you guys had about four or five hits today, but uh, clearly he was he was on his game as well. What, what was what in particular about the other pitcher was was giving you guys? Any problem or was anything he's a, tricky about it? He's a smart guy. He knows how to pitch. He works low, then uh, comes up with a fastball. He got me one time with it. Uh, has a nice get me over curveball. Knows how to work his changeup a lot. Uh, nothing's overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. Knows how to paint. Knows okay. how to get around. He yeah. got about five, six hits by the way. Yeah. Yeah, Michael, you had I think two other hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So take take me through what you were seeing, and you were you, was he maybe giving you different looks than some of the other guys? Um, no, I think I just got ahead early. And that really helped, you know. Uh, he tried to get the get me over curveball to a couple people, and he was working all game. But uh, to me, I don't think he threw it for a first pitch for a strike. So uh, I know when I'm 1-0 with a guy like that, I'm, I'm hunting heat. And you know, I think uh, uh, my second hit was a fastball 1-0 right after he missed the curveball. And my first one, I mean, I just battled, and you know, he made some good pitches, but he just left one over the plate. Christian, you just talk about clearly a historic year for the program. Your third year, you're taking on getting getting this program all the way to the state final. Can you talk about you know uh, that journey and you know all of a sudden now Corey baseball's on the map. You know, Bill. Since I got the job here, I just told them uh, I want you to do things that I got to do, and it's go on trips. It's uh, you know uh, play competitive and play states. So they got that chance. That's what it matters, you know. Are you from? Uh, Brent's point of view, one of the guys that's, that's really been along. I think you you were here since since Coach gave it more. You know, what's it been like for you guys? I've been here a part of Core Reef Baseball since my freshman year, and as soon as we got new coaches, like it was just a momentum change, man. This guy's been he loves his job, he loves the game, and it, he really shows it, and it rubs off on us, man. There's some of our seniors that started the year that they didn't really want to play college baseball, but I think with coaches' drive and the way we've been playing and the way our years turned out. That's all they want to do. And just this being their last game is totally heartbreaking for them. But it's been a great season and You know, the boys grind. They grind. Even to the the last day, the last out. Yeah, we ended with a loss, but this is the latest loss we can get. This is I guess the best last loss we season. can get. Chris, you know? talk a little bit about um, we talked <coughs> to them about the respect the two teams had between each other and they had tremendous things to say about you guys, but talked about I mean, when you lose one nothing, it's really hard to keep your composure. I'd rather get pounded. And you guys, you guys did a good <laughs> job, and, and, and the respect you showed at the end, and they showed for you. I mean, talk about that. You know, it real recognizes real. Uh, mm -hmm. Game recognizes game. So I've, ta I've taught these kids that. 
they're the state champs. I'm gonna clap it up for them. You know, that's it. The, that team. Uh, they executed more. Yeah, they did. Yeah, one more execution. But you know, I I, I wish they were in our district. <laughs> I wish we got to play them more. You know, because uh, those kind of games are, are fun to be in. Mm -hmm. uh, when the other teams battling and you're battling and they're loud and you know, I tell the guys, you know, you're relentless in the dugout. You cheer as part of high school baseball, but that mm -hmm. that stuff doesn't win ball games. You know, it just it just helps us. You know, it, it have an advantage where uh, the the teammates, the guys hitting, you know, they they believe in you because they're cheering for you. And realistically, it's just it's a momentum switch. And we had a lot of chances to that the momentum could switch to our side, and and they they stopped the bleeding real quick. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it was a hard hit ball up the middle that they turned two on, if it was a line drive that they caught, if it was uh, you know uh, executed bunt deep pick, it's uh, that team is you know that, that guy's he's, he's used to coach at Seminole it's his first year and he wins states you know good for him. Uh, I'm at a program that you know we got one of the highest GPAs in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't get players in. You know these these boys these boys got to work. They got to lift. They got to develop, and they got they know who their competition is. They know who's to their left. They know who's to their right, uh, and they got to battle for each other's jobs. And if, when you get once you get a job, you know keep it. Uh, if you, if you've earned that right, you know you're gonna get a leash. If you get your job taken from you, it's because somebody somebody outplayed you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When they get the opportunity, come and get it. And that's what we preach at Coral Reef. And the boys that are playing this on this team, you know, I had a freshman. I had two sophomores, and I had about uh, I think three juniors. I had three seniors in the starting lineup today, and so I'm 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 thinking that uh, uh, if these boys, you know, just remember this moment, going into every practice, you know, for next year, that uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be tough. And uh, I believe in this team. You know, I'm gonna miss five. I'm gonna miss eight. I'm gonna miss thirteen. I'm gonna miss one. You know, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss all my seniors. Twelve. You know, JJ who didn't get to dress. It is what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough moment. I'm going to miss Duran in right field. That guy was one of my dudes. You know, he transferred over from, uh, I think he was in a Terra, you know, and, and it, at Coral Reef at sophomore year. If you're on a waiting list your freshman year, sophomore year, you might be able to get in if a couple freshmen leave. And that's it. And then he got over and, you know, and we, always, we always mess with him. You know, where's Terra? You know, <laughs> you, know you, you, you end up making the right decision. And, you know, we got every, every ounce of juice from these guys, you know, we were squeezing it out of them, and that's why we got to this point, mm -hmm. you know, but the game is, is definitely a game of, uh, of inches, you know, it's who wants it more, and uh, it's who executes the best, and in one game, you know, that team can, can beat Coral Reef, and it happened, that's it. I almost feel like this is not the, the end of the story for, for what's, you know, the ride that Coral Reef is on right now, maybe for, uh, you know, some of the older guys, you know, what? Talk, talk to the, the future players that are, that are going to be looking at what you guys have done here and looking to, to write that next chapter in your story. Well, well I mean, back. Corey's always been the floor mat for, uh -huh. you, I don't know, dust of our district. And when this guy came in, it Culture changed change. up. So Culture change. maybe people come in. If not, then we have enough guys to do the same thing next year. I believe that this team is well-rounded and we have enough people to do this again and again and again. And eventually, they'll start coming in. You know, these are, these are these guys to my left and right. They're my ping pong balls, and they get chosen to come there. You know, and, and it's because they're they're smart kids and they want to get a good education. And and you know, they 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 go to pu they go to public school. They got into Coral Reef. They went there, and you know, kids like this could have left. He's a great baseball player. You know, he's starting as a freshman. I wasn't there. He could have left. You know, he stayed stuck around, and you know, year after year, we just inch closer, mm -hmm. inch closer. You know, and, and it shows that what. Uh, from a coin flip to the state final. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It shows that what, what my third base coach preaches, Eric Martinez, you know, what we preach, it's real. So, you know, I, I don't think we're going to be stopped. Uh, I would love to have better opportunities in the future. I love coaching, but right now I'm just very happy to be coaching these kids. Any more questions? All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.